happy Friday. Welcome back to all the house projects where all the house projects are going down. I'm just gonna, I wanna start by showing you what Travis is working on. So we have our washer and dryer that him and Zion have been working on. Uh, they started yesterday on this project. He's gonna have to drill. He got, where are we? Some kind of tool last night. He um, is gonna drill through the brick do a hole there so I'll update you on that. This was just insulation and open so there's a plastic case that he got that he pulled out the old insulation and I'm going to show you the case he's going to put on there and I'll show you the progress of the hole. They just took the utility sink out for the moment but we will be putting it back in. There it is. It's waiting for me. Super excited about the utility sink. Putting in one of those flat vents. Again, I don't have to understand it all. I just need to be able to wash clothes. So what he's doing, he's putting in a new dryer plug because there wasn't a dryer plug in this laundry room at all. The washer was put in and then the dryer was an afterthought, 1960s house. They're also running wire from the dryer all the way to the panel box, right? In the rafters in the basement and they dr have drilled holes for those. I got all those details right? Have to ask the electrician here to make sure I'm not lying. So, working washer and dryer here real soon. And the white box that I'm referring to, there we go. I didn't even know there was such a thing. Things we take for granted. So it's this washing machine outlet box that he's gonna put in the wall that'll look real nice. And then here's the stuff for the dryer box that he's putting in. Also, I got my Amazon notification today that the new table that I ordered should be here. We got the box with the new chairs and we got the box with the benches. Now I've been saying in all my videos and going on and on and on about how I want a 12 foot table, but I chickened out a little bit, at least for now. Whenever I measured, especially with the chairs I have around the counter and I will have new countertop put in and I will make sure that that new countertop, say this because several of you have asked me, so answer your questions. I will make sure that the new countertop has the proper overhang for the legs to go under when I have that done. So because of that extra space being taken up there and the kids are just, they're so used to that, they love it, I, I only ordered a nine foot table, what can I say? I still think it'll be great and I, fig and I figured for what I paid for it, once we get used to that, I, I could always get another new table at some point in life and maybe go for the 12. But I really wanted to get the feel for the nine foot. I measured and measured and like I placed blocks on the floor and I just, <laughs> I tried to think and make a good decision. What, what, what is even that in life? Tried to sit, make a good decision. I sat on the couch, sat in our different little sitting areas already and I just thought, oh, the extra few feet, I feel like it's gonna be in the way. What I get concerned about though is when we have other people besides our family over, obviously things fill up quick, but my backup thought is obviously our little uh, folding camp, camper, camping table, I'll just put that up if we need to. So between the table, we should be able to get 12 around the table. Then we have four seats at the counter, and then we have that little extra, you know, like your grandma and grandpa would put up the extra little card table. Maybe we just need to get a fresh card table like the olden days. <laughs> Travis is raising his eyebrows. Yeah, we just we just need room for people. That's part of why we got this house. So there's, of course, a bazillion things that need to be done. I'm almost out of my last kitchen box. I've been enjoying watching the chickens. I've got kids outside now. That's the thing when you're moving and you're unpacking, but you're doing meals and you're taking baths and you know, doing life in the middle of it. I'm so glad we stayed in the hotel with all the painting and beginning work by the contractors. But now we have to live life in the middle of unpacking and moving and doing appliances. In this vlog, you should also see where the new wall oven and the new refrigerator are coming. Uh, lots of things that we're getting settled in with that are coming up for you to see. Right now, I'm gonna take the kids. We have a wonderful long paved driveway with the circle in the middle. The kids are calling that their racetrack. So we're gonna walk down to the mailbox, get the mail, and then I have to come back and do a bunch of stuff. Oh, I don't think I told you yet. We lost all our food. I know, super sad. We lost the food in the two refrigerators and all the food in the two freezers. Uh-huh, I know. So, I'll explain. You see what happened is. <laughs> so, I'll be sharing about that coming up. And more happenings. So, Zion has brought up, I think, the last kitchen box in that kitchen. I'll quit talking about it. 
all the bathroom boxes are up, so I told him next to bring up my homeschool totes that I packed with love and carried all around so I can get our homeschool shelves. With all, I just want to put our current things in here already. We will not be getting back to school for probably another week, but I need to start unpacking things and getting them set up. Did you get the croquet set? So we have a we have a tree house here. Yes. And the tree house had a croquet oh, set in it. Nice. We're getting our rules straight. Oh, good job, Benjamin. In the middle of croquet, there's uh, our box with our four new metal chairs, and there's our two new benches for the table. And apparently, it is my turn to play croquet again. Liam has all the rules memorized. Good oh, job. how did I miss that? <laughs> oh, almost. As you can tell, our weather has drastically changed. It was like spring the other day, huh? Your turn. Okay, your turn, Amelia. We all have to just take our turns, that's all. Good job. Okay, my turn. Maybe I'll win. Okay, go, you get to go two more times. Mommy won! Yay! Now, of course, you all can let me know. I don't know if we're really... Uh, do we play? Do we play by the rules? Yep. Maybe. Maybe. We still don't really know all the rules. These are um, Dad googling rules, then memorized by Liam. But let me show you my new little garden area. Okay. So over here, Travis wanted to know where do we put all the benches? You can see we got all kinds of farmland behind us. So for now, just here in front of the house, we put garden benches. These pots have lots of bulbs in them, lots of lilies and stuff. We got our Easter flag out. So it's a start. Oh, are you pup pup? Pup pup, woo! Oh, we gotta put your hat on. Uh, Little hat escapee. <laughs> Liam's lost a shoe. Come on, buddy. A little bit of excitement. <laughs> this delivery truck went by and I told the kids, scooch back, scooch back. I think it's the truck with our new table. They slowed down. I heard them hit the brakes but they kept on going. So I just got a phone call from the dispatch saying they can't find our house, they can't find our house. I tried to give them some better directions. But anyway, I said, okay, you know what? I will stand at the end of the road by our mailbox, tell them to look for the little, the little lady in the green jacket with the yellow hat. She will show them where to turn. The table that I thought I'd give a try, just because I can't function that long without a table, especially with my kitchen being smaller. It's a table I had seen another large family mom share in like a large family Facebook group. She got it off Amazon. It was under $600, it was nine feet long. She got the rustic brown and I got kind of a rustic white. So I'm gonna give it a try, I'm gonna give it a go. But I couldn't find my phone. There we go, good one, JMRL, right by the busy road. But they found us, they're delivering the table, yay. I assumed it would be a table in boxes, but they might be carrying the thing in, I don't know. There is the big beast of the box. Super exciting. So, what's Travis do all day? Here he is hiding in bushes for no good reason. <laughs> oh wait, dryer vent. So we have our big table box in our big table room now. You all tell me, we've got a lot of these big trees and I haven't Googled the leaves yet. So I was gonna, I told Travis I wanted him to cut all these big ones down but he thought they might be some kind of beautiful flowering tree that I would find out later and then feel so sad. So I want to leave these evergreen bushes and then there's bushes there where Travis is hanging out. I want to leave those, just trim them up, but get down the big bushes. And the chicken flock's having a good time, even though we're drilling to prop their door open. Hey, girlfriends. Oh, they're running up. We also have a lovely tree down, but we knew that when we bought the place, we would be doing lots of tree removal. And then, oh, Glacier, the world's been wanting to see ya. <laughs> she loves her belly rubs. And then way over yonder, we've got Avalanche and Liam chilling. The dogs also sleep in the house in the basement. They're just hanging out, getting used to the new property now during the day. So the super sad update about the food. So we had this perfect food moving plan. I know many people have asked, what about your freezers and your refrigerators? So we moved about an hour or so from our last destination. 
I'll be about an hour or so away from where we lived. And usually, food safety wise, if you lose power, if your freezer is shut, and if the doors are kept shut, same thing with your refrigerator, things can be good for up to 48 hours. Or is that 72 hours? Anyway, it's more than 24 hours. So we figured, well, we would, of course, unplug everything, wrap it up right before we go to move it, get it on the moving truck, bring it over, and hook it up in the new garage. So really they would only be unplugged for a few hours. No big deal. Now mind you, while we're moving, you all know everything fell apart unexpectedly with our mover fiasco. We had a lot of other balls we were juggling. It's understandable that some balls are gonna drop. <laughs> so the balls that dropped for us were these freezers in the refrigerator. So again, they were taped up. They were loaded up, they were brought over here. When we got over here, because we had contractors working in the house, it worked out super convenient for the contractors. They were able to bring all the interior doors in the house out here to the garage and stand them up and then paint them. So whenever we came to unload the refrigerators, I didn't even think to say anything to the contractors because of that. The garage was full, especially this side of the garage where I have the hookup for the freezers and the refrigerators. This whole side of the garage was full of all those wet standing doors. Had to have been at least 20 doors. I mean, they did closet doors and everything. So we thought, okay, it's the first night, everything's wrapped up, it's freezing temperatures outside. Just unload the freezers and the refrigerators on the opposite side of the garage that does not have the power outlet. It'll be okay, we'll be back the next day. We'll then move them to this side, plug them in, no one will know. I can't even tell you now what happened the next day. I don't know in moving, in the moving timeline life, <laughs> what we were dealing with the next day. Here's what I do know. Several days went by and I looked out here at that garage and I was like, oh, those freezers in the refrigerator, the refrigerators are still where we unloaded them the first night. I think it's been four days. Um, we lost all that food. And during that time, the weather went from below freezing to we had like two or three 54 degree spring days. And so, yeah, the food is gone. So I will say before we moved, we were eating down what was in the refrigerators. I have one full freezer loaded with freezer meals. It is sad. And then I have half of the other freezer loaded. And then the refrigerators together, they were both about half full. So I will say we had the equivalent of one full refrigerator. So this is one of the casualties of moving. We lost it. This was our big fail in moving. But I think if this was our only fail, I don't think we had any other major fails. Can you think of any other major fails, Zion? Like things that we lost that we could say were a disaster besides the mover fiasco. We forgot to plug these in. I guess the fact that we forgot to plug these in means that we were busy doing lots of other things. <laughs> so we were getting other things done. So I'm just gonna reload, rebuild, lots of freezer cooking videos coming up, that's for sure. So I will say the chickens are reaping the benefits here. They don't mind. Travis is working on it. Inside progress for dryer installation. I can see you through there. Woohoo! Okay, lots of loud noise going on here, but Zion and I are going to open this up. The beauty of this is it's actually just a giant folding table. So that's why the price was so good as well, and that's why I thought this could be this could be worth a try. So we're going to open it up and see. Okay, here's the table. It's not exactly where it's gonna be, obviously, because it's in the middle of the room. <laughs> We're gonna take down our camping table now and get it where I want it. Okay, it's evening now. I know I've gotta show you guys the table too, but here, we have. look, we have lights. 
Travis has been working so hard on this today. I should say the Travis, Zion, and Liam combo. And let's see, we don't even know how to use this yet. Okay, there's the little thing in there. Little something, little something, something. Here's a box, here's some papers in a box. Let's see what these are. Okay, so we're doing a test run. I just put the dryer on heavy duty because that's probably what I'm gonna dry it on. And it looks like it has a minute counter up there. I haven't removed the little protective stickers. But okay, okay, it's a thing and it's it's working. Yeah. Now to test out the washer. Just hit for a normal laundry load. Let's see. Whoa, it's singing to us and it says end. Maybe it ended so quick because it sensed nothing was in there. I heard a song. Yes, the dryer sang to us. It sings? It sings. We're figuring this out. There's no water. No water coming in yet. It's blinking. It says wash. Is this normal? It's spinning. Ooh, I heard a noise. Maybe. Maybe water's going to start coming in. I see some water in there. You see some water? Oh, yes. Okay, maybe it kind of tumbles. Watch us try to figure out a washer and dryer, friends. Travis has a light. It's filling. It's probably sensing there's no clothes in there and it's really confused. Whoa, things are happening. See, we're easy to find entertainment here. Up there, the wash light's still blinking. So we're obviously easily entertained, but I think this is working. That was worth a day and a half worth of work, huh? Happy Saturday, so we are out. I ran that wash and dryer a whole bunch late last night, by the way, it's been going well. We are out and about for our last Saturday of winter basketball games. We just had Daniel's game, but now we have three hours until Amelia's game, and then the rest of the games are back to back. So, we are like, what do we do with that time? Because of course it's freezing outside now. And I said, take me to a Walmart. I have a list. I shall shop. So here we go. So I've been thinking of getting an electric kettle just because I have so many who enjoy hot tea and that way we're not doing like 10 cups of tea in the microwave. And they have one Pioneer Woman, one left. So I think I'm gonna give this one a try. So they're having some, a whole bunch of amazing clothing marked down. Here they got $5, but they had some dollar racks too. Now that we don't have uh, large amounts of predatory wildlife, we can actually like feed the squirrels and feed the birds. Okay, important details, shower caddies. Yes, I left mine at the other house, oops. Also, these look neat. I think I'm gonna get this for my cabinet too. Okay, so we are working through their uh, bins and I'm working on closet organization a bit. Now, this Pioneer Woman rug is marked down to $7. I think this will look nice in the kitchen in front of the sink. The kids are super excited. We got scooters for the new paved driveway tonight. Yay? Yeah, yeah, I know. Benny wants to know where his scooter is. We'll work something out, Benjamin. So we are back from basketball now. I'm unloading all that Walmart stuff that I got. I think I'm gonna go ahead and use this new electric tea kettle and get like some bedtime tea going for some kiddos and, and for mama. Always, always, new house, new dish towels. These felt like they were absorbent. Also, they had these, these Pioneer Woman dishcloths were marked down to $3.50 for a pack of them. Yes, thank you. And then upside down, but I'll pull this tea kettle out. Well, now listen to that. That's such a fun sound. Happy Sunday afternoon. We are getting ready to have tacos after church. I want to tell you, because I couldn't find my can opener, the, can opener the other night and I was out of butter, and I was able to send Travis three minutes away to a Walmart. I did have him pick me up another can opener. It's a $20 can opener in Hamilton Beach, but I tell you, I'm opening cans like nobody's business. It's been great. I have been thrilled with this can opener, and you needed to know that. Also picked up a bunch of uh, grapes and strawberries, 
and then some more goodies to go with our tacos. Yay! And then to balance that out, four dozen donuts, what in the world? We are having um, grandmother's celebration of Amelia's birthday. So this is like birthday cake for a bunch of people this afternoon after we have our tacos when we do her presents for grandmother. Yay! So furniture putting together is continuing this evening. We have two. Oh, I don't know. Can I get them? How do you like that shot? <laughs> two of these four foot benches put together and now Travis has started on the four metal chairs that I've ordered from Amazon as well. And I know it's it's gonna seem impossible. I told Travis that I just, I need a bigger letter board. <laughs> I wanna get no weapon that is formed against you shall prosper and every tongue that rises against you in judgment you shall condemn. I wanna put that verse on here because that verse has been uh, just really hitting me hard in all the right ways lately. I'm still gonna try on my little board. It'll be really cramped, but um, definitely, definitely gonna try to get that one on here tonight. Liam is working on it for me now. It's all very close, but we might be able to get the whole verse on there. This just means mommy needs to get a bigger board, right? Happy Monday. It's uh, about 2.15. We need to get some late lunch around here. We've been doing all kinds of things. I've got new chairs to show you. Dishwashers going in. Travis has gone out for another little part that they need. Then the other thing that they're gonna work on today is getting the new toilets in. Exciting stuff. My mom has been visiting. You saw we had big basketball stuff happening Saturday. Whole lot of church and other visiting going on yesterday. So I feel like we haven't made too much house progress this weekend, but it was family time, so that's great. We did get, um, Travis got the chairs and the benches built at this table. And I guess I did make some progress by getting more stuff that I needed at Walmart. So I got the new area rug out. I'm gonna take you around and show you some stuff now. Then I'm gonna heat up tacos. And after tacos, I must work on all this clothing for a few hours. I need to go out this evening. What's running in that field? <laughs> I'm learning our fields around here. I must go out this evening. I need to do my monthly live call for my large family table community. And I need to get a few hours of work in. And now I have a Panera Bread 20 minutes away. How exciting. So I can just go after dinner for a few hours and come back and it's not like an all day trek. Yay. Here's how the nice table has worked out. And then these chairs, I thought they were a great deal. They were um, four for $99 on Amazon. They had them in yellow and teal and red, like orange, all kinds of fun colors. I just went with kind of the weathered white for right now because I figured I could always add other colors in. Here's how these benches turned out. They are 48 inches long. I believe they were $70 each. I got two of them. With this table, they had a nine foot long bench for about $250. That was the listing price then. I just didn't want to commit to a bench that long, although I've seen pictures of moms who have gotten it and they love it and it's, you know, again, super fantastic. I just was trying to give us a mix of chairs and benches. There's Travis's work stuff for the different projects he's got going on, but here's how it looks from this direction. Have not gotten to the lights. That will hopefully happen this week. Um, by the way, then we got dishwasher area tore up over here. So here's the dishwasher that is going in. Travis will be back soon and they'll continue working on that, that tea kettle that I'm loving. We've been having our sleepy time tea and reading our Bible at bedtime and using this and it just makes my heart happy. There's those little, little date blocks that I got and every day a kiddo has been changing that out. All the stuff on our list for this week and not a uh, end result of this room. I don't have the lights even turned on in here, but um, Anyway, so I brought the camping table up. I had so much laundry we needed to wash that's sitting. I'm gonna process that this afternoon. That on the floor is a pile left uh, from a load from the basement. So I'm gonna try to get that laundry caught up. I'm gonna sit and fold and hang and then kids can help me put away. And then we're gonna get back to processing those bags of laundry in the basement. But here's the rug. I thought it was really fun. So I'm going to be in the market for probably either a taupe or a gray, some sort of like neutral color, L-shaped sectional sofa for this area that Talking Head is pointing to. And then this chair, I want to dye the fresh red and maybe put in that corner. And I'm thinking of doing TV stuff here. And then over here where the organ is, we'll probably move the organ to the basement and uh, we'll do some other sort of seating here. 
but that will give us a nice big living room area. And then I want to leave the big bay window clear for looking out. I'm going to get all my stained glass hung, but we're probably a few weeks away from that. I am looking at several stained glass windows on eBay right now, so I've got those saved because uh, I have a big collection. I want to add some more. There's Daniel on his scooter. Um, hope to get plants in that window. My mom had a good idea about maybe getting another one of those benches for the window there. Lots of fun, good things, but then laundry reality. So that's how Monday is shaping up around here. I'm hoping to get a lot of this stuff busted through this week. Now that the weekend's done, and then next week we will start working on fresh routines at the new house and just how we're gonna function day to day here. This is our big warm up. Okay, so I'm being told that all the we have thousands of birds out in our trees. Oh my goodness, okay, wow. They're all coming back. Oh my wow, God. can you hear that? Mm -hmm. So happy Wednesday? Is it Wednesday? Is it Wednesday or Tuesday? Tuesday. Your jacket has a pen in it. No, it's Tuesday. No, because I did my live call last night. It was Monday. We don't know what days of the week. We don't. We are, we are not acclimated to uh, time and time, place, and location. Mommy, our here's your pen. Thank you. Got a pen. Anyway, I'm betting Travis. It's Tuesday. It's Tuesday. Lowe's is here with the refrigerator. They don't have the wall oven yet or the glass top stove. Those are still coming in a few weeks. Uh, good deal, but here they are unloading the refrigerators. These French doors in the back were both of them open. That's a nice upgrade. Um, they're bringing it in the back, so very nice. So another thing that's happening, we thought Zion had, yes, stay in Benjamin. We thought Zion had piano today, and because we don't know what day of the week it is, he doesn't have piano till tomorrow. <laughs> So anyway, these delivery gentlemen, we're gonna have them put the refrigerator right here by this fireplace because we have to do some modification in the kitchen to fit it over there where that little refrigerator is. We gotta, gotta move some things around. I'll show you what we're doing. We also got muscles to that. Woohoo! <laughs> okay, <laughs> maybe we should leave it here. What do you think, haha? -ha. So here it is, it's still all wrapped up. It's a whirlpool. You need a bagel? Yeah, we'll get, yes. You need bagel. Okay, we'll get it. Um, yes, so we just had them set it here until we can get it where it's gonna go. So, refrigerator, it is in place. We had good friends that came over to visit us and visit with our new house today. So now it's like 5 p.m. and I have to do some dinner. Um, yesterday, Travis and Zion got the dishwasher in. That ended up being an all day project. They couldn't get the toilets done. So that's what like household stuff getting done today. I'm hoping, I'm probably gonna say not tonight. I've already run my mouth all day. Gotta get some work done too and actually make a meal. Um, so tomorrow, hopefully we're gonna get back to those bathroom boxes. I looked at my piles in the basement when I took my friend around to give her the grand tour and they're looking smaller to me. So I'm hopeful that, uh, hopeful between Wednesday, Thursday and Friday, I can really, I just wanna get it all done. I know realistically though, it could be much longer, but we're hopeful, feeling hopeful tonight, even though I've got to cook dinner now. And this is the dishwasher that they got put in last night and then over here, this is our new beast of a refrigerator. I mean, it looks bigger because the kitchen's smaller, but it's actually, it's a, it's a Whirlpool and it's 25.5 cubic square feet total. Not um, as big and with all the bells and whistles as the one that we had in the other house, but that's okay. We're, we're mini sized here, but here's how it looks like on the inside. Of course, not jam packed full of food because you know, I lost all that food. I'm just trying to not think about it and <laughs> to do the next thing, right? But I do have some, um, excuse me while I organize it a bit, and someone went out and got some strawberry jelly. So I've told you I've been doing like a real simple ba back to basics meal plan. So tonight I'm going to do chili, um, but then after that I'm gonna have to sit down, get a meal plan done for March and go from there. 
You will see our chickens have been laying eggs. We've got a blue one in there too. That's from the Easter egger. So that's exciting. They're getting warmed up again. But yeah, a very bare refrigerator. And if you've been watching since the farmhouse days, you know, I usually use these bottom drawers as like yogurt and quick snack drawers. So there we go. And then I think in this freezer, so sad, but there's only ice packs in there. Oh yes, there's a few popsicles. Okay, making some progress. Got the diffuser going. Been unloading these. I've actually, I've also been taking pictures from down in the basement and wiping them off and kind of setting them in different areas where I need Travis to work on putting them up. But I am making progress. Hold on one second, sweet. Look, I'm showing our bookshelves. Making progress here. It's not done yet, but we're getting there. Okay, so here, the big reveal, the big reveal. Here's how it's at least looking for the moment. My chapter books are not organized how I would like them to be, but my goal was to get them out of the tote, and I thought, uh, yeah, mama, you can drill down and organize them how you want. Also wanna go through their little school bins and stuff there, but for now, you get the idea, and I have nothing yet in these cabinets. I wanna put additional homeschool things and games in those. So yay, looks better than it did. Looks like we live here. Lots of afternoon projects going on here. Travis just brought this home and him and Zion are gonna be adding some trim around the bottom there. You can see the back end of the dishwasher. And then this is of course getting scuffed up because I have chairs here, but I know I've mentioned how I bought extra sheets. Here, I'll, I'll show you what this will look like. Here's my vision for it. So see how that's coming together? And I've got lots of smaller cut pieces left from when we did, uh, when the contractors did the backsplash in the kitchen. And then I have a full sheet. There we go. You can see there's some more little edge around the bottom and the side, and that'll just have to be from these cut pieces here. But I think that'll look really good, and then that'll just cut down on, well, there'll just be no damage there whenever we sit. Yay! Okay, working working hard here style. We paid a whole lot of lot of for our beautiful light that's gonna go by our front door. Hopefully it fits height-wise though. I still have to have Travis double check me. So when Travis went back to Lowe's today, I had him pick up three exterior lights for the back of the house. They only had in like the carriage house black, I think they call it. So anyway, he got them in black, but now he's got some brown spray paint and he's gonna doctor them up for us because I wanna do brown lights on this house. So here's how he's doctored this out. He's got the glass pulled out of them. He's covered up the, what do you call those? Light, the light socket? Yeah. yeah, the light sockets with tape. Now he's gonna use his brown spray paint. And these were only like 15 or 19 bucks a piece, 12. right? $12? $12. So that makes up for the $79 front porch one I paid for, yeah, <laughs> okay. So anyway, so this is our little uh, DIY exterior light action going on. Okay guys, it is bedtime around here, but I'm gonna show you my progress the shelves are the shelves are all unloaded yay and then down here we have other goodies the the mommy legos <laughs> and some the reading books math blocks stencils uh, those are reading eggs materials just some puzzles and that hole because i know someone with wise eyes will catch that they had a blower going from under there there was actually a motor in here and it went it had a hose and it went all the way over and plugged into the side of this wood stove that we're not using haha -ha. so travis is going to fill that and i'm sure i will put more puzzles in here as i unload but hold on honey um but yeah this is how this was my one of my big projects from today but it is done yay and outside here we're we're looking at the moon <laughs> okay happy friday morning egg and cheese bake toast got some cottage cheese 
some hot tea and we are having breakfast. You all may remember I got this Paw Patrol mac and cheese at Sharp Shopper several weeks ago. And since I entitled this video, uh, we lost all the food. This case of mac and cheese from the pantry is what we're cooking up today. Now, I have been to the grocery store. You can see evidence of bananas. I've sent Travis for little things. But this weekend, I'm gonna put in a super mega grocery haul, getting ready to do a ton of large family freezer cooking. Gonna get the freezers and the refrigerator stocked back up. But this is lunch today, and the kids super excited. And so Travis is here adding deadbolts to the doors that need those. He's got just reasons for all kinds of little tool updates, don't you? Gabriel just gave me a gift and found yet another light under a cabinet. We didn't know it was there. Hello, new light. And I'm going around wiping walls and stuff because we've been getting wonderful things called new lights installed. And that means where we've been walking down the hallway, we've got some grubbiness. So mama's wiping off the fingerprints. Let there be light, we can see. Free range and chicken out the front door. Mm hmm Move along, move along. Also, other update, in both bathrooms, we took out the glass shower doors that were here. Now, of course, uh, I've gotta go find those new shower curtains that I bought, but I got some fun bicycle theme. I think I showed you guys a couple shopping haul videos back. I got a bicycle theme shower curtain with the thought of doing the kids' bathroom in bicycles. Remember I had this picture at the other house? I'm gonna have Travis, 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 hang this picture up for me here, and I'm gonna do just fun little bicycle things in here. Well, as I told you earlier in this vlog, we lost all the food. We lost everything in the freezers and the refrigerators when we moved. We didn't lose pantry items, thankfully, but yeah, we lost all the refrigerator and freezer stuff. We forgot to plug them back in. I don't need to tell you that sad tale again. If you've made it this far in the video, you've already heard that story. Anywho, I put in two big Walmart grocery pickup orders. One order was focused on all the toiletries and such. That was one I had there already. And then later today, I was able to put in like a perishable refrigerator items. Now, some common questions I get, because I do a lot of freezer meals and freezer cooking on YouTube, and I know Know several of you are new here so I've never had anything like losing everything in the refrigerators and freezers before but one of the questions I get often is what about a power outage so we have a big a big mama generator how do you like that we've got a big generator that will run the freezers and the refrigerators and will take care of things in a power outage where we used to live our power outages were only about four hours seemed to be the average over four years. Only one time did we have to get that generator going. And by the time I had it up and running, had my Instant Pot in it, making us something for lunch, power came back on. So we'll see what it's like in this neck of the woods, but I did huge order. You are now gonna watch me unload everything. Many of these things are items I like to be stocked up on, I like to have in the freezer, I use them for various things, items that my family uses often, and yeah, so let's, uh, let's see what I got.
and you can see here behind me, we're still unpacking garage stuff. We've been working so much on the house, Travis has not been able to get out here to work on unpacking this stuff too much. But let me give you a quick tour of my uh, empty freezer and half full freezer, full refrigerators, and then all of the pantry items and canned goods. I spent just under a thousand dollars stocking up again on all of this food. I have no freezer meals right now, but I'm gonna be doing a whole lot of freezer cooking coming up. So if you enjoy seeing large family freezer cooking, uh, be sure to subscribe and come on back because a lot of that is gonna be going down. Let me show you what this big stock up looks like tonight. So pantry wise, I had a, a pretty good stash of cans, but I just really, I got a ton of canned items that can last for a long time. Um, lots of canned fruit, lots of canned veggies. I had a bunch of um, applesauce. I'd like to add more to that. And just some quick, uh, yeah, ramen noodles, teenagers, middle of the night, or who knows when. It happens. And it's cheap. So added that. Uh, I like to keep at least three ketchups. I didn't have any syrup, so I got five bottles of sugar-free pancake syrup for pancakes or waffles or whatever. Just added two. Got all kinds of oatmeal. Got wasa crackers like they're going out of style. <laughs> uh, peanuts, almonds. We had all those taco shells. Several bags of cereal. More beans. More rice. But there's the pantry item stock up. Uh, tons of toilet paper. Yes. Maybe it's going out of style, I don't know, but it never hurts to have a big toilet paper stash. Then down here, let's see, this freezer is just basically some bread and some hot dogs and some Ezekiel bread. It's all that's in there. Then in here, we got a bunch of yogurt, bread that's out and ready three bags of apples. I have another five pound bag of Red Delicious that's going to go in the house refrigerator. More of those uh, Greek vanilla yogurts, some cottage cheese. I think there's some cabbage back there. Eight gallons of milk here. This drawer, some celery, some baby carrots, some cheeses in there. Breakfast sausages that are defrosted, ready to go. Laughing cow cheese stocked up on butter. And then over here, now my light is out in this one, but it is working. We've got some zero noodles, some more bread in the door. Uh, down here, two more loaves of bread. Some sugar-free jello is behind there. Some spinach, 20 pounds of potatoes. Five-pound bag of mandarins. I have another five-pound bag. I've got this whole stack on the other side of the room. Another five-pound bag is going in the house fridge. I think I got about six things of unsweetened almond milk. I got four boxes of eggs. Our chickens are laying eggs, but we're, it's like six to eight a day. So we're adding those in with the store-bought right now. Um, bag of lemons, radishes in there. Bag of shredded cheese there. Up here. Uh, restocking on our frozen veggies. We always use a lot of cauliflower, broccoli, and I have two packs of those. Um, let me show them to you. I think you all asked me about these in the grocery haul. These are about $10 each. They're like $9 and some change, but they are pizza crust made out of cauliflower. So if that's your thing, I uh, doctor these up all kinds of different ways. So got two sets of those, four total. Then in here, this freezer. So just worked on getting my meat stashed up again. I got four big bags of the chicken breast. I got hamburger patties already done, more breakfast sausage, ground beef, some pork. We've got six more loaves of bread in the freezer there. I just put some flour in there. That's some more ground beef. And then, uh-huh, popsicles. So my kids love the banana ones. And then these are, at least, at least, these are the sugar-free ones. So they've been earning lots of popsicles doing this move. And so we really have built up our popsicle stash tonight, but that's all that's in this freezer. And then this other freezer, so sad. I still need to wipe this one out. Uh, yeah, nothing, but it's getting ready for freezer cooking. And over here in the middle of all the packing and things, those are those lights that Travis painted the other night that he's gonna get on the back of the house for me. Here's some of these fruits and veggies I said were going into the house. I also got four of these big things of strawberries, but I'm gonna take all four packs in because these are gonna go real quick. Whew, well, we did it. We got lots of appliances this week. We got a lot of things built. Lights are switched out. Did I show you all the lights in this video? Just check my footage, I didn't. 
I didn't show you the lights, so we got them done. What am I even doing with my life? Well, we got lights up. Stay tuned to the end. I will go back in right now and I will show you the lights. Um, what else have we gotten done this week? I don't know. I'm going to have to watch this vlog to see. Oh, yesterday I worked a lot with my big pile in the basement. I brought up more clothes to sort and put away, went through some more boxes, found one more mystery kitchen box that needs to be unloaded, and we made kind of like a little TV room, just a little extra room in our basement. If you saw this awesome 2200 square foot basement, hearts coming out of my eyes, um, basement that came with this house, you will see that there's already sub walls down there, there's already electric, there's already heat, there's already all the hookups for a third bathroom, it's just a whole lot of great potential and stuff going on down there. Well, this one room, when you first come down the stairs, there was already a floor, even though it's not the long term, term floor I would like it's not just concrete and so we went ahead and just set up our little futon in there and our bench and some of our chairs and then Travis got the idea well let's put our camping table there and he hung a light over it and I put a tablecloth on it and I got all the craft stuff and made a craft box basically made a fun little like TV room crafting room area for whoever would need it at this point and it's super fun right now since we don't have a couch in our living room yet but it's just nice to have that space down there there and start pushing things around. Travis was also talking about different ways to finish it out. What I'm gonna need to do is film a moving questions video because as these videos are coming out, the questions are mounting and I feel like I wanna stand here right now and answer like a hundred different moving questions you all have. I try my best in the comments, but I'm going to do a dedicated video for you where I just take all the questions and bam, 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 answer them. So right now, let me show you those lights and I'll give you a quick peek down at our little TV area because we got the space. It's not perfect, but it's there and we've made it a little functional and it's just fun. So here you go. Okay, super bright in here. Let's see if my camera will focus, focus blinding you. Is it gonna show up right? Hold my hand in front of it. Anyway, I thought that was a really fun stained glass light. Now, yes, 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 you can see I'm gonna need to go back around and paint that little part around it, but that's okay. The white on the walls is called Extra White by Sherman Williams. I have a little can of it. I will fix it up, but I thought that that light was just fun and went with this kitchen. And I'm gonna be in so much trouble with the internet, but the copper light is gone. We have this massive, I'll just block it so you're not being blinded, this massive LED light up there. It's not the beautiful copper one, but I am giving that one to one of my very good friends. And then out here, I love that light. It's all my hopes and dreams. And uh, I just love having it in the foyer. There's, uh, I've got another bench that's coming for here. It's white and the seats lift up. And I got this little, um, entryway table that I think I'd like to put there for keys and purses and you know in and out in and out things this mirror I had got on sale I was gonna put it above the fireplace and it's just it's really small so I don't know what I will be putting up there or if I'm just gonna look for a bigger mirror there is nothing new in this room except for my new funky area rug I'm looking at different couches but I think I want to go out and go couch shopping I'll take you guys with us there's the window that we love so much. Oh, I know one question. I think in one vlog recently, I mentioned replacing this window and several people were like, why, why, why would you replace it? And I don't mean that we wouldn't have a big window like this in here. This window is just 60 years old. So one day when it needs replaced, here's talking hand explaining, <laughs> when it needs replaced, it will be expensive to replace, but I plan to replace it with the exact same thing. See how excited we are. But the window isn't going anywhere besides that. There, let's all be confused. Okay, sounds good. And then the hallway is all lit up now. Yay, new light. And then in the kids' hall bathroom, I did find the bicycle shower curtain, so that's up now. There, an upside down ceiling fan, but that's gonna go in our master bedroom. There's the pile of stuff in my room. Not even getting to it right now, so. Ah, so many, so many movie videos coming up. Here's how the shower curtain turned out in my bathroom. And I think it's lovely. It looks so perfect to go with that picture that I'm gonna have Travis hang up there for me. And I know so many of you have asked me, so this is where like the moving questions 
vlog needs to happen, but I'm gonna get this one right now. So many of you have asked me. Can I say so many of you have asked me one more time? Okay, so many of you have asked me about the Ikea bookshelves that went with the last house. You see what happened? <laughs> see what happened is Travis highly secured those to the walls. We did not wanna go through taking those down and then repairing all the walls in the room because those bad boys aren't coming down on, on their own or with anyone jumping or knocking them around or anything. They are like, they are built into that room now. Plus the new owners really liked them, so they liked them as well. But I will definitely be doing them again. Travis was just saying all of these wonderfully attractive things to me last night about doing a whole, how long would that wall be? He doesn't know, I need you to know measurements. 30 feet, 40 feet, a just big long, is that half a wall downstairs? Yeah, big old, big old line of Ikea bookshelves. You all have also asked what bookshelf set those were. Those were just Billy bookshelves. They're fantastic. I will definitely do them again. I will have them again. They shall rise. <laughs> they will be resurrected. They're just not here at this moment. So those bookshelves are coming, but that's what happened to those Ikea ones. They weren't coming down for nothing. Now, if I would have heard that the other people didn't want them, I don't know then we would have still had to repair the walls, so I'm contradicting myself, but I do that. That's okay, but that's what happened to them. And so, like we live here, I've been uh, working on getting my basket together. I set my super inspiring cross stitch out that I've, I don't know, I haven't touched it in weeks, but it's there. I haven't read my Bible in the last week either. That's gonna change in the morning. That's like my little journal. Anyway, it's all there. It's all waiting for me. Okay, so downstairs in the basement, that's just a little table we set up with another light. All kinds of projects going on, so we got stuff everywhere. But like I said, there's old floor in here, and then I just put all kinds of different little crafting supplies in here. Okay, so kids are all sprawled out in the little TV room downstairs right now watch and sing, didn't want to disturb all that. Some of them are asleep. We gotta get to bed as so we're going to church in the morning. But anywho, thanks for spending this long week with us. Thank you for following our moving adventures. If you've made it to the end of the video and you're not already subscribed, please subscribe. Now I've got a lot of moving videos for you right now, but I usually do a whole lot of cooking and I share a little bit of homeschooling and a whole lot of real mama life. So if you like those things too, you'll be getting a whole lot more of that coming up as well. Okay, going to bed now. Talk to you in those comments below. Good night.